Newsbreak 26 in southwest New Brunswick. I'm Natalie Sturgeon. Here's what's happening in our part of the world. The three municipalities in Charlotte County are considering hiring a local development officer. Here's more on that story. Councils in Charlotte County are divided on whether to accept a joint economic agreement for the region. The proposal would see Eastern Charlotte, the Municipal District of St. Stephen, and St. Andrews hire an economic development officer. But that idea didn't float well with St. Andrews Councillor Daryl Weir. We've got the Regional Development Commission, who has identical workforce development and housing. Uh, we saw the enterprise organizations for many years, which were barely competent. And I'm just wondering what magic bullet we have that is going to make us be successful. Weir says organizations have come and gone, many of whom were unsuccessful. He also took aim at the Regional Service Commission, who is also responsible under the new reforms for economic development, workforce development, and housing. Councillor Annette Harlan said she believes this more local position could create opportunities. I feel like we are a, a tiny pin on the map for them. What I like about this is that it is more focused, or it has the potential to be more focused on our specific needs. And I think if there's going to be success, there's potential for success with this model. Eastern Charlotte Council voted in its August meeting to table the motion until October, citing concerns about the duplication of services with the RSC and pending the buy-in from the other two councils. The Municipal District of St. Stephen has voted yes to the agreement, but voiced concerns about crossover with its existing economic development agency, Future St. Stephen. The Department of Local Government and Local Governance Reform says it does help support the RSC through the Regional Service Commission Support Fund, which funds up to 50% of its activities. In 2024, it provided $190,000 to the Southwest region. Mayor Brad Henderson says he does believe there might be a benefit to a local person, but adds many organizations have tried and failed in the past and wants to see the things the RSC has achieved before handing out any more money. Just give me the top three or five wins that you accomplished over the last year. Something to take back to the community and council to say, is this something we should be investing more in? Or is this something that should be status quo or even decreased? Henderson says he does believe the RSC is another branch of the government, but the department says it is not meant to replace services already provided by local governments and are there to complement the efforts already taken within the region. Back in St. Andrews, there is controversy over the historic courthouse and costs associated with maintenance and repair. I took a look at what is causing alarm for the council. One of St. Andrews councillors says he wants to hand the old courthouse back over to the province. It comes after a significant price tag to remove old lead paint from the exterior of the centuries old building. Prior to us getting the courthouse, it was, had been painted with lead paint. So now there's regulations surrounding that on the proper disposal and stuff. So the budget came in at $312,000. Councillor Kurt Gumischel says he was on the original council who decided to enter into an agreement with the provincial government to take over the old courthouse. We did that in good faith and I, I don't remember what we got, 50000 a year for four years to take care of it and there was no uh, mention of lead paint, there was no mention of a bad roof. So I feel like we got ourselves a lemon here with the uh, courthouse. And maybe we should uh, just turn it back over to the province, say thank you very much, here's your, here's your money back, and you can have it back because I really feel like we were duped or misled. The province of New Brunswick requires a specific removal and disposal process because of the toxicity associated with lead paint. Council also says the roof is in need of work and an additional cost of about $50,000. The courthouse is still home to the St. Andrews Civic Trust, whose mission is to help restore, preserve and maintain buildings with historical or cultural value. Mayor Brad Henderson says he would like to wait and see what the Civic Trust can bring to the table on this situation. He says council has given the group time to do so. All of these add up to have a cost and the question is, is how many cultural assets can such a little community of our size pay for? It is fantastic that it was such an old courthouse. It has been well kept to date. Um, but the reality is, is if you're going to be putting tax dollars into a building, you want to make sure that it really does serve a community purpose. 
Council did vote in favor of the roof replacement to avoid any damage to the interior of the building. That's our news for now. I'm Natalie Sturgeon. For more stories and online exclusives, subscribe for free to CHCO TV on YouTube. A news and public affairs production of CHCO TV, New Brunswick's only source for independent community television.